Well, today was one of those days, the days I talked about yesterday, where the market picked a direction, well, kind of picked a direction, but basically the dollar picked a direction from pre-market, and I'll show you that in the next chart, and then the market kind of followed with that, and that was basically the overall trend today, so the trend today was bearish, and the dollar was bullish, so that basically played out today in a good way and let me just show you here today i had two trades on the day one trade was a profit the second trade i tried to get a little bit more downside but because of how it was playing out i just decided to exit at a loss of two dollars and ninety cents but basically you can see here on the dollar at eight o'clock you have a big candle breaking above the weekly resistance line here and then the dollar continued to kind of make a new high on the hourly candle on the nine o'clock candle here and that related to the nine o'clock red candle here on the qqq so i'll show you where i entered i entered exactly at 9 30 because i saw the dollar's trend i selected my position i had my level of stop loss a little bit above the weekly resistance here as you can see that the next candle came and almost came to the resistance here but it didn't actually break above it which was good it kind of respected the resistance here and didn't go above it and just kind of tried to play down play down so basically i entered the first trade at 9 30 and that was at 26403 so that's basically like right at market open it is right at market open but the fill price will vary depending on what platform or what broker you're using to so 26403 so that's where i entered to the sell side basically the top of this candle and then i exited on the 10 o'clock candle at 26233 26233 right about there so basically entered here for a sell and closed it here for profit of 32.50 in what's that 30 minutes or so so in this scenario the dollar and the qqq related perfectly they had an inverse relation as they usually do and it played out perfectly it played out perfectly i like when it does that that was the first trade of the day which was profit so you know working on the strategy and then we can apply more capital to the strategy and then the second one was another sell let me see where i enter this so if you minus five from this you get the time that i entered so at 11 27 so on the 11 o'clock candle is when i entered this trade and i entered at 2 6 2 17 so I entered right here on the 11 o'clock candle to the downside. The, let me see, I closed it. I closed it a little bit in profit, but just the fee for the transaction just messed me up. Oh, I closed it a little bit negative, 0 0.02 negative. And just that alone gave me a negative profit. But as you can see, it's like pretty close pretty pretty close there no this is actually positive because it went a little lower but just i just wanted to take a quick loss and exit because i just didn't see it going the way i wanted it to go and what i noticed today so that was the total trade i made today that was just one two and that's it what i noticed is that all right while i'm playing the qqq on the one hour you can actually see a lot more of what's going on on the dollar here when you break it down to the five minutes so when i entered on the 11 o'clock candle right and then you have basically the dollar hitting this high and can't break above it it started to kind of trend down that's where i was like okay seems like the market has kind of lost its strength for the day it doesn't have a lot of bullish momentum on the dollar which would have meant that you wouldn't have a lot of 
bearish momentum on the QQQ. And as a result of that, I just exited for the rest of the day. If I had seen it kind of break down and start to make a new high on the dollar, then possibly I would have had more conviction to go in to the sell side on the QQQ. But unfortunately, that did not happen. And that's, that's how it plays in some days. But that's basically it what happened today. I like how this trade played out. This could have been a bigger trade, but I'm happy that I still exited it in profit. And then I stuck to the system, stuck to the plan. And we have these drawn out. I have the purple lines as the weekly um, key levels. And I have the yellow lines as the daily key levels. And as you can see that, generally the market reacts to these levels in some way so this daily resistance is respected by these candles here respected here 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 even pre-market post-market sometimes you see some reaction so you see right before the market close here it's respecting the daily level here respecting the daily level respecting the daily level kind of respecting the daily support level there so that's basically how i chart them and how it kind of plays off those levels and you can use these levels as resistance or support levels stop loss levels take profit levels so i was going to try and aim for this level today but the market didn't have that a strong push down for me to get uh take profit to this level this was my original take profit but when I saw that the market kind of wasn't making a new high on the dollar, that's when I decided, okay, it might be best for me to just take my profit and leave and just let the trade finish for the day and just go about my business. So that's basically what happened today. Hope you enjoyed this video and tomorrow is Friday. I hope this video provided some form of value and this is just five days into january in my trading journal this is going to be every day that the market is open and i'm able to place a trade even if i don't place a trade i'll be able to just review the market and just keep it consistent hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you tomorrow